Hey there, ancient fans of LEGO. Be sure to buy LEGO branded LEGO products um, right now because that's all that YouTubers on YouTube LEGO space are good for to, to LEGO is to convince you to buy this product. It's um, a hidden side product and I do need you to engage really hard with this um, video so do leave a comment telling me that you're going to buy this product, even if it's a lie, um, just so that we can... Um, so that Lego will like me more. Uh, anyways, it's Chef Enzo's Haunted Hot Dogs. 43 pieces and a cool minifigure. Um, these sets are kind of weird because, like, they... This is Lego, but, like... I don't know. Is it? Uh, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. Cool. Go to Legoland for free. And if you're a little child, you will end up haunted. So don't do that. Uh, oh, the 05 PP triangle. That's a pretty big PP triangle. So yeah, there's not too much else here. Um, let's do it. Let's do a video build. I hate when I open this way. You see this? You see this nonsense? I don't know what that's about, but and then it does this. Nope, I guess not. Really. So off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of little pieces. Goodbye. Um, this is pretty cool. This is a big uh, transparent umbrella piece. Got some. Uh, oh wow, he's got a little like a uh, little notebook in his pocket. That's pretty cool. His pants. Oh, his pants are printing too. Wow, what a premium figure. Now I'm not seeing a. I'm not seeing a yellow head. Do I not get an unhaunted Enzo? I kind of thought I would get like enough to make an unhaunted Enzo, but guess not. So that's cool enough, I guess. This is um, this is like the Garmadon armor piece. So that's cool that that's what they're using that. Um, some brackets it looks like. No sub steps. Oh, there's some sub steps, but they're like that's a double, but it's no no double of the same garbage. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's let's build it up. 14 steps plus two sub steps and one more. So 17 steps. Eh, that's pretty good for 43 pieces. I think I got this for like five bucks. <gasps> Look at this. It's a meat cleaver, but in ghost color. Moist. Look at that. We got a lot of good pieces actually. A lot of really good pieces. I think um I think the best thing to do with something like this is objectively saying we are getting good pieces right off the bat. Don't even have to build it. You got some good pieces going on here. And I think that most people would agree because here's the here's the kicker, right? Any polybag that comes with a minifigure is automatically a better value because minifigure blind bags are upwards of five dollars right now. So if you're getting a minifigure in the set you're already hitting the $5, quote-unquote. To be fair, they're not collectible series, but, like, this one has front and back printing. Actually, let's let's build the minifigure. It's got an extra piece, an extra accessory. He's got back printing on the head for flames, and the front is a ghoul with, like, a flaming goatee. Ooh, mutton chops, right? Mutton chops, that's what that's called. He's got a hat. The hat's good. And the legs have printing on the front. They don't have side printing, but he doesn't also have arm printing. But that's that's a fairly premium figure. I could see that being in a uh, CMF series, and people would be very okay with that. We do give him a hot dog as an accessory. So his human hand does hold a hot dog, and his ghost hand does hold a ghost cleaver. So that's, eh. But yeah, very cool print. Very usable for a human if you just want a dirty hot dog salesman. Um, the head, the head's cool. Uh, I like it. You know what? Let's see if we hit that with some UV. It do. It do light up. UV with flashlight. Thank you. These don't, but that does. So, I'll take that. Pretty cool. Anyways, we're doing this, and we're putting some fire, some little studs. See, so this, this is inflating it. We're using a lot of little pieces, and I did note that when we opened it, but that doesn't necessarily take away from the value because the value is there because of the minifigure. The minifigure is good. Now, I'm excited to see 
I did see the instructions, obviously, but I didn't pay attention really good. I'm excited to see what the end result comes to, because I think there's some kind of monster in this one, judging by the fact that we have Monster Eye. Now, we do only have two of them, and I would expect that to have an extra piece, so I'm going to say a one-eyed hot dog stand monster. Let's find out. Some grill pieces, those are nice to get always. Not really usable for a ton, but they're there, so, you know. Uh-oh. I wasn't paying attention and they flipped the whole assembly around on me. Yeah, okay, so we're doing um, two of these bad boys. Yeah, he's the last one. One of those bad boys. I like these little um, pizza wedges, the quarter circle tiles. Those are real fun for decorating things. I would say that those are one of the best new pieces, and normally I'm against small pieces that add unnecessary resolution to a build, but they add a lot of fun resolution and are very usable with our classic pieces, whereas certain other things slightly less so in my opinion. Okay, so let's put this like that, yeah. That goes here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm missing a clip. Yeah, okay, I messed up. Where did I mess up? Oh, I see. It's it's a couple layers down. This one is supposed to be this. Okay. <sighs> An easy enough fix. We'll do that. And then this piece can just go back on. And then this piece can go back on. And then on the front of the cart. Does that piece go? <gasps> it do. Noise. Thanks, ultraviolet light. Nope, I still messed something up. Let's try again. Going back to here. Let's use a brick separator this time. Plop. Okay, so that's there. This one goes here, but one plate layer up. And then this goes on top. Then that. No? I'm having a real hard time following this one. I don't know what I did. Yeah, this goes here. This goes here. I somehow missed that. Okay, so this is the diagram so far. Step eight. Oh my gosh. This one's an advanced build. A super hard advanced big boy build. Okay, yeah, now we've got it. Because this can now go here, and this can go here. Okay, cool, got that. And then on this side, spin it around, we put a thing here, and another grill, and then a hot dog goes in here, up there. This piece gets the eyeball, and it says to put it like this, and go like this. And then this goes in here, this goes here, and those are all extra pieces. Okay, done. There it is. There's a the stand. And then if you flip it like this, it's a monster? Hmm. I was expecting some kind of hinge feature, honestly. Uh, I guess if you knock it this way, you knock it like so. That's weird though, because it's definitely, like this is the side that you would be looking at as a customer. And then if you look at this, this is not as scary as if it was like this. So it's, 
turning on its mower. I don't know, kind of fun monster effect, and it's hidden. You could use this in a Lego City City, you know, something not haunted themed as a hot dog cart from this side, especially. Take those off and the eye and you're good for a hot dog cart. Kind of weird that it's got the fluorescent orange uh, canister for the gas, but like, whatever. This could be some kind of knob if you want to keep it on there. And I do like that we could just put an extra hot dog here or something. I guess we could just stick, stick this bad boy on the grill. But yeah, and then we got the chop. <sighs> Ooh, that's bad. That is a play feature. Just, yeah, it's authentic. Yeah, the more the more it hits the ground, the more authentic this hot dog cart becomes. The more, you know, they say that art imitates life, so. Yeah, cool play feature. Um, because he's so tall, he does have a little hard time fitting underneath the uh, umbrella. 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 So that's, yeah. It's weird that it's a pink one, I guess. If it had been something spookier, like transparent green, he could have glowed in the dark. I don't know. Take that off and it's kind of a fun rawr monster, but like I'm feeling a I'm feeling a sense of anger because I couldn't build the set and then I'm kind of feeling a sense of like disappointment because um, I mean I'm really good at building Lego sets. You guys have seen me do it literally dozens of times. Um, and I messed it up because it was slightly unclear how this was flipping. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me defend myself here. We have this symbol. That's the only flipping symbol. So this side... So here's the, here's the step I missed was three. I messed up step three and I didn't put the clip. But then I had this one and then flip and then flip again. And it's a flip upside down this time. So so the, the, symbol, the symbol is a full circle in both directions. So it's that, that, that it is it's always that and then it's also this way this or if we're doing them at the same time this you always end up with the same side towards you actually if you follow that symbol because i'm spinning it one circle this way and one circle this way and it's not a half circle stopping here it's not a half circle stopping here although it does show it stopping there it's just a motion thing and it doesn't make any sense to me i've never liked that symbol but there's three of them in the build and um, it, it messed me up. It messed me up. So uh, do comment uh, that you do want to buy this set or another set. Very expensive. You know what? Tell tell me which UCF set, Ultimate Collector Series a set you do want to buy, and we will. Uh, I will thumbs it up. I'll give you a big old thumbs up if you tell me what UCF set you want to buy. Um, tell me how bad I am at building would be cool, I guess. But like, you could also just defend me against anyone who is being mean to me in the comments because you're an ancient fans and they're they're probably a sports fan or something those sports fans here subscribing to my channel <sighs> anyways um that's the set that's the build seven out of ten i would buy it you should buy it too um automatic video subscribe video i handpicked for you it's over there and it's a it's a good one you should watch it and then tell me what lego set you're buying because of it